children those are footstones some people think the little stones belong to children and they're actually footstones um, I think the footstones have been moved a little bit because I don't think everybody was exactly the same height but generally your foot your headstone and your footstone your footstone was how tall you were and you got, that's how big your grave was so a lot of times in these old cemeteries you see them um, up every which way because they're not in a nice line and sometimes you see them in a nice line because they've been moved Let's see, let's see. Captain. When did they fence them in? I don't know when they fenced them in, but um, this is granite and, and iron. Really you can see the headstone and the footstone kind of match each other in style. And, um, on the map, I don't know if you saw on the north is sort of this way, sort of this way, and so east-west is this way. And they wanted to face so that your head was here. And when your redeemer came to redeem you, you could he would be coming from the east. So you would rise up and greet your redeemer. And that's why they face the east west. <laughs> Most of them are like that, not all of them. I don't know if it's heretics or if they were moved. I don't know why. But not all of them are like that. You can see here, there's um, cracks in the slate, and there was, a, there was other cracks in the slate too. And the water got in and froze, and the front of the stone just fell completely off. However, Robert Trim did read it, so it was readable back in the 1960 or so. And we have her foot stone too, so we know for sure that this is her. Uh, stone of Patient Hunt was readable when Robert Trim saw it. In memory of Mrs. Patient Hunt, who died November 4th, 1782, in the 64th year of her age. So we know what the stone said. We don't know what design it might have on it. But at least we have that much from Robert Trim. Thanks to Robert Trim. Oops.